Okay, in this video, we'll be looking at the jellyfish party. And everything that goes with that. So without further ado, I'll go to the restaurant. Alright, so jellyfish party. There's quite a few things, but well, it's an interesting one really. Because your best dish is actually this one here. And if you look a bit lower down, you'll see this one as well. But other than that, oh, so I suppose there is phantom jellyfish sushi, but that's a boss dish, so that is what it is. But looking around at other stuff, you'll see the box jellyfish. Blood belly comb jelly, regular comb jelly. All of these are like really low in price. Like really low. It gets even worse when you're looking at like the white spotted jellyfish there. Then a barrel and fried egg jellyfish here. So really, you don't have much of a choice. I mean if you have this dish you can serve it, but it's gonna cost a lot of sea grapes and a lot of white spot jellyfish. This only works once and both of these are kind of just not that worthwhile dishes. Which basically is your only option is that. Which yeah kind of isn't great but that's what we'll be doing. Alright so first off I'm going to swing by the farm. Right now this dish needs garlic so Yes. I'll buy all the stuff anyway, but... It's mainly about the garlic right now. I could be farming stuff, but I don't want to, so I won't. So next up, I'm going to go to the Sea People Village to get Black Coral. Black Coral being harvested. There are no jellyfish in the glacial area, so I don't need to go there this video. But there are... And in fact, the only jellyfish really worth catching are in the uh, medium and shallows area, so... I'm mainly just going to swim through here. I said if you want jellyfish from down here, you can check over this area. To the right of the place where you go down in the blue hole. There's also another area you can check on the upper level on the left. Those guys, you gotta get them before they explode. They can even explode during when they're netted, so you gotta be very careful with that. As you can see, there's a lot of these guys around. There yeah, should be tons of them over here, in this column over here, and there are. I find it weird how paralysis affects the speed of like the underwater scooter. Doesn't feel like that should be the case, I mean, something that's supposed to be dragging you along. This area up here on the left. Good place to find jellyfish. At the top of the depths on the left. Okay, those jellyfish are worthless, so I don't really bother recommend coming here at all. Just if you did want them, because I don't know, I guess you, you were short on other things. Then this is where you can get them. 
Now there is no stalactite cave this time, and the white spotted jellyfish only spawn in stalactite caves. Stalactite caves, I can't remember which one it was. There was the limestone caves. They only spawn in there. We don't have limestone caves this time, so... I've got the seaweed map, and I'm not sure if there's actually any jellyfish on the seaweed map. There's quite a few maps that don't even have jellyfish on them. I found a slack tight cave. I won't be keeping this one, but I need to re-roll for the barrel jellyfish and the fried egg jellyfish, because they're the main subject of this video. But as you can see here, do find a stalactite cave. I see there's a lot of sea grape that you're going to need for the same dish, and a lot of the white spotted jellyfish. So at that point you want to net up as many as you can, and harvest all these sea grapes along the little floors. Make sure to travel in all directions of it. Make sure to get all the cave that you can. You see these anglerfish also. Just try to eliminate them with your harpoon. Don't waste net gun shots. Make sure you know where ammo is, because there are a lot of white spotted jellyfish in here. And you're going to want as many as you want. kinds of slack tight cave. Uh, the tall one and the wide one. This is the wide one. I think the tall one has way more stuff in it. So this is kind of like the smaller one, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, nah, with that, with this dish, all you do is that. And this is the second best jellyfish dish, but it's still not great. But at least all the ingredients you need really are all just sat around in one area. So you don't have to worry about that. I'm going to cut to a different layout now. I'm just really hoping for a shallow area where... Yeah, these are the guys you're looking for. Okay, I finally... Yeah. I finally found a layout that includes some jellyfish. Now, there's not tons of them here, but... I also have this annoying Titan trigger fish follow me. These guys you can only really catch with a uh, net gun or trank dart. I'm going to try to get multiple per net. jellyfish on them. Which so I'd really recommend these jellyfish, you really want to fish farm them.
So I couldn't find any barrel jellyfish, but you'll probably have seen them before because this is the earliest area available in the game, so therefore you'll likely have seen them about. As I said, try getting fried egg jellyfish and barrel jellyfish into your fish farm and you won't have problems with this dish. You kind of need them for the jellyfish party because it's the only worthwhile dish. Although you can't use it early on because early on you won't have access to black coral and you won't have access to garlic, but that's just how things are. only had six portions, so I could add it on one, but one's not free, so you're going to have to add on quite a bit of them. At least seven, so you're going to need at least 35 of each. Let's hope this ship goes well. Yes, everyone served. This should be an alright time. Let's see what the results say. Oh, they're giving a thumbs up, even though the branch sucks. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you have a good day.